What's up guys, it's Paladin Null, and we're back with more Darksiders. In the last episode, we got our fancy, they call it a crossblade, but I've played other games that call it chakrams, so it's just going to be our long range weapon. Um, and all we have to do is uh, choose this over here, choose this over here, lock onto those, and chuck. And that'll raise us up a platform. And give us a gate out of here. Now, if I twist this again, what does that do? Um, looks like it reset all the platforms back to what they were before. Maybe this is what I needed to do to get that uh that chest from last episode. Yeah, that's that looks like what I needed to do. Can I make the jump? I can make the jump. Which means, ooh, I needed to come in here anyway. There's a And that leads us out of here. Awesome. So this is two out of three of these swords done already. Well, once I get out of here. Just making sure that wasn't anything. I saw a little great thingy over there. I wasn't sure. Whee! Let's hand that to you. Which unlocks the last door for us. Which is this way. I was gonna say, this can't be good. Um, okay. Um, um, um. I'm destroying the statue. For a second there, I thought I could grab their their swords once they died. Nah, it just sort of like ragdolls around the room a bit. Is that it? Do I get the chest back now? And this chest is going to have a key to the door that had the, um, yeah, this chest is going to have a key to the next door. And this gives us another Wrath Shard, which means we are only like four more shards away from having another bit of Wrath. But one of these doors was locked, was it not, with the key? And why did- oh, I think it's in like another room. I'm actually gonna go and grab this though. Didn't mean to do that. I wanted to grab this health chest just because I'm not- I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm missing a little bit of health and I'd rather just have full. And if I remember correctly, there was a chest back this way. Or not a chest, but a, uh, a locked door back this way that now that we have a key, we can gain access to it. Enemies in my way would certainly agree with me. There it is. You are just not having a good day today. With this door open, we gain access to this room full of fire bats. And not the ones from StarCraft.
Is that all of them? Then let's jump onto this. What did we find here that gave us fancy you found something music? Well, we certainly can't jump that far. So maybe there's something back here that'll give us access to the rest of that room? The Jailer! Okay, then. Hey there. Oh, and he spawns bad guys. Great. You are just the worst. Uh, run over here. Throw that to deal with him for a second. Destroy that one. Destroy that one. At least these guys are supplying me with an ample amount of wrath. And I don't get hurt while I'm... And of course he's got to summon more dudes. I don't need your help, Watcher. I will figure this out on my own. There's only one column standing left. I wonder what happens if he destroys that one. Nothing happens. Um, do I just beat him up? That one, that one side of him looks really dangerous. Let's, uh, can I? Ooh, I can. Ow! But this is progress. Okay, so I need to run before he starts just going absolutely apeshit. Dodge, dodge. He's still mad at me. How long is he going to stay mad at me? Um, oh, hey. Execution time. My cage! <laughs> really? Why? Why was that a thing? <laughs> you gotta give it to the little guy after he got out, even though he was still technically part of the jailer, he still tried to fight his way out. But now that we're finished with our first mini boss, we can head up. Oh, I said up, I meant down. 
I always expect elevators to go up. Because you usually just drop down. Just casually walk over here. Um, so we have an inert uh, thing here. And those don't even give me fire yet. So I have to travel the fire from somewhere. So where is the fire at? Oh. Here's the fire. So if I travel it from there to there to there to there. It should light up the way and... Oh boy, I got poisoned. You guys are just no fun. Want to keep that guy on, um, on wraps while I fight his buddies. And now, backpedal and explode. So those have stayed lit since I lit that first one. And there seems to be a chest in this room. Let's jump across here and see what's on the other side. I'll solve the puzzle in a second if I have to, but... Yeah, doing that just means that I can now walk this entire path now instead of having to worry about uh, constant problems with, you know, fire and whatnot. So, we need to, uh, we need to target this, let's target that one to get all the fires in this room lit. But there's still, there's still a problem that we want to light that. There we go, now that we have that one lit, we can light that one, that one, that one, and that one. So all the fires are lit, we grab a bomb. I don't even think we really need to light all the fires, I just needed uh, a certain number of them lit so that whenever I did this I could target and target. And now we crank this to, I guess, raise that one up next to the first pillar that we- yeah! Yes, indeed. So now we can activate the other one and create another platform all the way back at the beginning of this level. And more enemies! And you, sir, are very annoying. Ow. Okay, this isn't good. Okay. Kill you. Rip your head off. Dodge backwards and hit you with a thing and get some health back because you're a nice man and you give me health back and I don't have any life crystals great I was hoping maybe I'd have at least one with me but I don't 
see, this is what this is. If you watched my uh, Space Marines Let's Play, there were a lot of moments like this where I felt like there should have been battles in moving elevators, but there weren't any. So it's nice to see at least one game doing it right. Seems like whenever I'm on the lo the absolute lowest health that I can be, at least one health orb comes out of the little guys. Get over here. And we have that first one pulled and now we can pull this one. And we got guys with swords at the end. Uh oh. Is that the only one? Yeah. I just realized. The reason they gave us this uh this long range weapon in this one is because the Tiamat is a giant bat person, isn't she? So the fight with Tiamat is literally going to be us trying to fight a giant bat lady. This room looks inviting. Well, no other thing for us to do but jump down into it. Okay, yeah. Screw all of you guys. I'm getting some health. Come on, oh, there's a... Yeah, that's why I'm kicking your butt. Ah, he attacked twice. Aha! There we go. Cut you in half. And cl oh. You guys just don't know when to quit. Especially you stupid infester dudes. Dodge, dodge, uh, hate spikes. Run away, and chuck, and explode. And we get all of our wrath back. And finally we grab our final sword. Really? Really? You know, I'm just gonna play this one safe if I can. You guys just don't do it. <laughs> and I died. We start from last waypoint. Where does that put us? Outside of the room. 
before the fight. At least we have full health this time before the fight. I didn't have full health the first time I did this. Sorry if I'm being a little quiet here, but I need to focus on this fight, because I don't want to just keep dying here repeatedly. No. Hate spikes. Ow. Okay, so you're down. I'm going to have these guys spawn. I like that I can use this thing, generally, to just stop somebody who is very bothersome whenever I'm trying to fight others. Dodge around. Kill you. Hate spikes. I know that's not the actual name of them, but I'm just going to keep calling them that because hate spikes are cool. Blow you up. Get my health. Or I guess not health, but points. I want to grab the health now. And I want to grab the hatred now. Then when we grab the sword, and the two guys spawn behind me, I can... I don't need to lock on. Locking on is not good. Hate spikes. Hate spikes. If I could just beat one of you, if I could just beat one of you, this would be so much easier. Oh yes, this is it, this is it. Okay. One down. Yes! Haha! All it took was having a little bit more extra health before the beginning of the fight. Oh, that was not fun. I mean, winning it was fun, but that fight in particular was not a fun one. But it's over now. And we have our final sword. So we jump across here. And head back the way we came. I really hope there's a way to contact Volgrim soon. Ah! I don't know what I was doing there. The jumping can get a little fiddly at times. And I have to start from all the way over here again? Or wait, no, no, no. I'm headed the wrong direction. I actually made it back to this platform. and So from here, I want to jump directly across. There we go. No, I want to jump out. And now we make it back to this room. 
which it sounded like something just spawned somewhere, but I'm not sure. I actually have to make it back around this side, don't I? Because I can't just jump up the other way. So what's down this way? Or, not what down this way, but, uh... Now that we have the last sword for this... We can... Uh... Just put that right there. And with all three active... The platform should rise, right? What's gonna happen? Yeah, it's gonna rise. Oh no. I just realized what this is leading to. I think that we are actually like right outside the end of the game. We unlocked that door there, or not the end of, why did I say the end of the game, the end of the dungeon. Uh, there's still a crystal in here that I need, that I could break. So let's break that crystal real quick if we can. Let's take this, and quick, through the window! That unlocks us, ooh, does this mean, does it mean... Yes! The final lifestone shard! Which means we now have one entire new health bar. Which is going to be extremely helpful toward us. Now can I just... Ah! And that's how we're going to get past that bit. Up here. Is now that we have the, uh... Our little dingly dang here. We can hit that and just simply walk past it and collect the spoils of this room which is going to be whatever's in this chest which is abyssal armor piece a piece of blood forged abyssal armor collect 10 to complete the set great more collectibles uh, we want to fall down here I didn't mean to do that because I wanted to fall down here and gather souls and whatever's in that chest which may or may not be more abyssal armor pieces. Nope, an entire wrath core. So, full wrath now. Definitely worth coming back for. So now we have three wrath cores. Um, ah, crap. I forgot about that thing. That scared me. <laughs> uh, I should have just jumped across. I don't know. Oh man, that actually got me... <laughs> Uh, that was a jump scare for me. Okay, well, before I actually continue onward, um, I'm going to end the episode off here. Uh, if you liked it, uh, please for don't forget to leave a rating. Um, comment if you're enjoying the series or whatnot, or if there's anything that I missed, maybe I need to change something. Um, I'm probably going to see if I can't release since this is the seventh episode starting Monday and then this episode will come out Friday though if I went through with my pan plan correctly this will have already come out Friday anyway I hope you enjoyed the episode I'm Paladin Null. this has been Darksiders and as always I will see you guys later bye bye <laughs>